Good morning. It's Monday and it's time for our devotion together. This week we are um, ramping up or speeding up, I guess, our tour through the book of Hebrews. Uh, we're looking at chapters 5, 6, and 7 this week, uh, mostly because of the limited time we have before Advent. I kind of wanted to get this in right before Advent. Uh, but it is it feels a little weird that we have spent four weeks in chapters 1 through 4, uh, and now that now that the text gets harder to understand, not easier, uh, we're going to do bigger chunks together. Well, that's what we have. Uh, today we're looking at chapter 5, the whole of chapter 5. It's only 14 verses long. Every high priest is taken from the people and put in charge of things that relate to God for their sake, in order to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. The high priest is able to deal gently with the ignorant and and those who are misled, since he himself is prone to weakness. Because of his weakness, he must offer sacrifices for his own sins, as well as for the people. No one takes this honor for themselves, but takes it only when they are called by God, just like Aaron. In the same way, Christ also didn't promote himself to become high priest. Instead, it was, it was the one who said to him, You are my God, you are my son, today I have become your father. As he also says in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. During his days on earth, Christ offered prayers and requests with loud cries and tears as his sacrifices to the one who was able to save him from death. He was heard because of his godly devotion. Although he was a son, he learned obedience from what he suffered. After he had been made perfect, he, made, he became the source of eternal salvation for everyone who obeys him. He was appointed by God to be a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. We have a lot to say about this topic, and it's difficult to explain because you have been lazy and you haven't been listening. Although you should have been teachers by now, you have come to the place where you need milk instead of solid food. Everyone who lives on milk is not used to the word of righteousness because they are babies. But solid food is for the mature whose senses are trained by practice to distinguish between good and evil. Okay, the song I have is Womb of Life and Source of Being. Womb of life and source of being, home of every restless heart. In your arms the world's awakened, you have loved us from the start. We, your children, gather round you at the table you prepare, sharing stories, tears, and laughter. We are nurtured by your care. Word in flesh, our brother Jesus, born to bring a second birth. You have come to stand beside us, Knowing weakness, knowing earth. Priest who shares our human struggles, Life of life and death of death. Risen Christ, come stand among us, Send the Spirit by your breath. Brooding Spirit, move among us, Be our partner, be our friend. When our memory fails, remind us, though whose we are, what we intend. Labor with us, aid the birthing of the new world yet to be. Free of servant, Lord and Master, free for love and unity. Mother, brother, holy partner, Father, Spirit, only Son, we would praise your name forever, one in three and three in one. We would share your life, your passion, share your word of world made new, ever singing, ever praising, one with all and one with you. Amen.